Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Poor Shot Boxster 986. The Boxster is a car that's flown under my radar undetected. Being a poor person that sells auto parts for a living, I can't even afford to think about Poor Shot. Like most car enthusiasts, I constantly search Facebook Marketplace with the search criteria of manual transmission and under $10,000. A Porsche Boxster came up in my search. I thought to myself, there must be something horribly wrong with that poor thing. I decided to search specifically for Porsche Boxsters. It wasn't a fluke after all. There were multiple offerings for around $10,000. With these cars now in the realm of affordability, they are definitely worth a second look. Or in my case, a first look. In August 1992, Porsche shop. decided to move the Boxster from concept to show car for the upcoming 1993 North American International Auto Show. Both the press and the public were in love with the Boxster. Grant Larson's 986 design recaptured the glory days of 356 and 550 Spider. In March 1993, Larson's design was finalized for production. Well, almost finalized, the hood needed to be lengthened to fit all the components. Running prototype 986 powertrains were slotted into 968 bodies by the end of 1993 with actual Boxster body prototypes following in 1994. Pilot production started in the second half of 1995, followed by the regular production in mid-1996. Porsche's pockets were empty at the time. They brought consultants from Toyota in to help streamline their operation. On Toyota's advice, Poor shop started part sharing. The 986 Boxster used the same hood, front fenders, headlights, and basic interior design as the 996. Hi, I'm Jackie McLaren. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. Pockets ain't empty, cuz. The Boxster was the most financially successful poor shop in their history up until the more recent heresy SUV thingies. The 986 came with a 2.5 liter horizontally opposed six cylinder that made 201 horsepower and 181 foot pounds of torque. A 5 speed manual transmission or a 5 speed tip tragic S automatic transmission transmitted power to the rear wheels. In 2000, the engine was stroked to 2.7 liters, producing 217 horsepower and 192 foot pounds of torque. The Boxster S launched the same year with 247 horsepower and 225 foot pounds of torque from the 3.2 liter flat six mated to a six speed manual transmission. <sighs> The Boxster S launched the same year with 247 horsepower and 225 foot pounds of torque. From a 3.2 liter flat six mated to a six speed manual transmission or the optional five speed tip tragic automatic. Suspension wise, the S's spring rates were 25% stiffer at the front and 23% stiffer at the rear. The shocks were also retuned along with longer rear lower control arms and beefier wheel bearings. The 2002 received a minor facelift. The soft top's rear plastic window was swapped for glass. Poor shop. Was kind enough to provide a glove compartment. The hood and the frunk got new electromechanical releases. A newly styled steering wheel was also added. Poor shop. Put a new free flowing exhaust and air intake on it. In addition, the yoke in the fried egg headlights went from yellow to clear. The taillights were also updated with clear turn signals replacing the yellow ones. The bumper styling and wheel designs were also freshened. In 2003, the base model Boxster's power rose to 222 horsepower and torque rose to 192 foot-pounds of torque. The S's power also increased to 254 horsepower and 229 foot-pounds of torque. 2004 is the last year of 986. To finish out the series, a production run of 1,953 550 Spider Boxster S Special Editions were created. The production number paid homage to the 1953 550 Spider. 500 GT silver metallic cars with unique brown full leather interiors were made for the U.S. market. Boring old gray natural leather was a no-cost option. Each car was equipped with a bump and Bose sound system special interior paintwork, two-tone gray and silver 18-inch Carrera wheels. Lame unpainted wheels were another zero-cost option. The hella fresh stance was on point using factory 5mm wheel spacers. Other goodies included Boxster S Sport Exhaust and M030 Sport Suspension. The row, rest of the world, M030 option was a European spec sport suspension. 
The package increases the suspension's firmness and reduces body roll, but is said to maintain a factory ride. The stance is also improved, lowering the front 20mm and the rear 10mm. The Spider Boxster S Special Edition has a Kermilla Myrtle. <clears throat> The Spider Boxster S Special Edition has a commemorative plaque with the production number displayed on the center console. Stock performance. Motor Week tested a 1997 Boxster and it ran 0 to 60 in 6.7 seconds. The Lazy Buggers didn't time a quarter mile run. 0 to 60 times.com claims a 1998 did 0 to 60 in the same 6.7 seconds and did the quarter mile in 14.6. The 2004 Boxster S ran from 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds and ran the quarter mile in 13.8 seconds. Aftermarket performance. The aftermarket performance parts for the Boxster are plentiful. Intake. Exhaust. Headers. Computer tunes. Turbo kits. Supercharger kits. There is a plethora of performance handling hardware for the 9862. Lowering springs, coilovers, thicker sway bars. Racing. 986s are often autocrossed. Drag racing is common practice. Spec Boxster is a popular racing class. Six is often rallied. One poor 986 has been rally crossed. Maybe the best use of the Boxster is driving down a curvy country road enjoying the scenery. Wait! What was that? Holy crap! What was that? Holy crap! Another jackalope sighting! Run. Buying a Porsche Boxster. Boxsters are not known for rust. The tinware may have to sit this round out. It is still a good idea to check for poorly executed collision damage. The M96 engine installed in the Boxster up to 2006 was known to have potential catastrophic engine failure due to the intermediate shaft bearing, IMS. Don't believe the hype though, as evidence shows that less than 5% of the bearings actually fail. The IMS bearing is located at the end of the intermediate shaft that connects both ends of the timing chain mechanism. The IMS bearing is much like a wheel bearing. Wheel bearings are a wear item, and so is the IMS bearing. A wheel bearing failure can cause the wheel to fly off the car. Similarly, IMS bearing failure usually ends in catastrophic engine failure. The IMS failure engines are typically a total loss and require a replacement engine. Thankfully, most Boxster owners replace the bearing rather than gamble an IMS failure. When a poor shot dealer replaces the bearing, they put a sticker and serial number. When the Porsche dealer replaces the bearing, they put a sticker and serial number of the new bearing. 
on the engine cover. If the bearing hasn't been replaced, it can be a bargaining chip when buying a Boxster. Typically, the parts and service for replacing the bearings is $3,000, so factor that into your buying decision. The M96 engines were also subject to cracks in the cylinder liners. Each cylinder has a one-piece sleeve or liner. The liner material is different from the case material, and sometimes cracks can appear. The most common issue is coolant loss that causes the engine to overheat. When you are looking at a prospective Boxster, check the oil for coolant and check the coolant for oil. Before test driving a Boxster, note the coolant level when the engine is cold. Drive the car for a full half hour. The radiator fan should come on and the engine should maintain a steady temperature. Turn the engine off and recheck the coolant level. The level should have risen and fallen back towards the cold level. If the level has gone down or is still at the cold level, there could be a coolant loss through a clack clack clack. <laughs> If the level has gone down or is still at the cold level, there could be coolant loss through a cracked cylinder liner. Hegarty claims the average value of a 1997 Boxster base to be $13,800. They also claim the value of a 2004 Boxster S to be $18,000. The prices of Boxsters are on the rise, so get yours before the prices skyrocket out of control, like the... <laughs> 9-11... Thanks for watching Jason Bowman Loves Cars and my story of the Poor Shot Boxster 986. See you next time.